Filling and Submission of Trade License Application Form this trade license video tutorial walks the citizens through the steps involved in applying for a new trade license. In case of any difficulties in filling in or submitting the trade license application, the counter employee at the urban local body or ULB office can submit the application on behalf of the citizen. To apply for a new trade license, log into the portal using Citizen User Credentials. Click on the Trade License card available in the Citizen Services section of the portal home page. Now, click on the Apply for Trade License option on the screen. Alternatively, you can also click on the Trade License menu option in the sidebar and then click on Apply for Trade License option. Select the city where the trading premises are located. The required documents trade license here provides the list of documents that the applicant needs to submit along with the application. If you want a hard copy of the list of documents, click on the print button. Click on the apply button to proceed with the trade license application. The new application form page contains various subsections that include trade details, owner details, documents, and summary. The Trade Details page contains four panels Trade Details, Trade Unit, Accessories, and Trade Locations Details. The fields marked with asterisks are mandatory and cannot be left blank. The other fields are optional. Select the applicable financial year. The license type is permanent by default. Enter the name of trade. Select the appropriate structure type and structure subtype to define the type of premises from where the trade will operate. Enter the trade commencement date or the date when the trade will begin operations. Enter the trade GST number if applicable. Enter the operational area of the trading premises in square feet and the number of employees that will be employed by the establishment. In the Trade Unit panel, select the applicable Trade Category, Trade Type and Trade Subtype to indicate the specific type of business. The UOM or Unit of Measurement is auto-populated based on the selected trade type. Enter the appropriate UOM value as mandated by the selected trade. Click on the Add Trade Units icon to append additional trade unit details. In the Accessories panel, select the applicable accessories or specific business tools for the listed trade. The corresponding UOM is auto-populated for the selected accessories. Enter the UOM value. Enter the Accessory Count. Click on the Add Accessories icon to append additional accessory details. In the Trade Location Details panel, the City field displays the registered city by default. Enter the Property ID, UID or the unique ID of the trading premise. Enter the Door or House Number, Building or Colony Name, Street Name, Mohalla and PIN Code for the listed premises. Click on the map icon to provide the GIS coordinates for the location. Enter the electricity connection number for the listed premise. Click on the next step button to move to the owner details section. Enter the trade owner specific details in this section. Select the type of ownership and the type of sub ownership. The ownership can be individual or institutional. In the Owner Information section, enter the owner mobile number, name, father or husband's name. Check father or husband to indicate the relationship of the given name with the owner. Check the applicable gender of the owner. Enter the date of birth of the owner. Enter the owner's email ID, PAN number and correspondence address. 
select the applicable special owner category from the drop down list. This field enables you to identify special ownership category in case of freedom fighters, widows, disability, below poverty line, or defense personnel. In case you have selected multiple owners in the sub ownership category here, the Add Owner button will be available on the screen here. Click on the Add Owner button here to add multiple owner details. Click on the Next Step button to move to the Document section. The application number is generated at this stage. Click on the Upload File button to browse and upload the required documents for processing the trade license. Click on the Next Step button once all the documents are uploaded. The Application Summary page provides all the information filled in by the applicant. The Application Summary panel on top of the page provides the payable trade license fee and the total amount details. Click on the View Breakup button to fetch the fee calculation details. Scroll down the page to view the filled in details. Click on the edit icon to make any changes to the application. Click on the submit button. The system displays the application submitted successfully acknowledgement message. The trade license application number is displayed along with this message. Click on the download button to download a copy of the application. Click on the print button to print the application. The applicant receives a SMS notification on the registered mobile number confirming the submission of the application along with the reference application number. We hope this video has helped in understanding the trade license application filling and submission process.